because it wasn't legally clean. Yeah, it was one of those, those awkward plays, first and third. Tying runs on, on, on third base. Going hard to try, try to break the double play. Obviously, I feel terrible that he was injured. I had no intent to hurry him whatsoever. Um, but I did have an intent to try to break up the double play. How are you feeling? How's your head? I'm fine. Chase, is that instinctual for you, or you're cognizant of the fact that you guys need to square that, that time run right there while you're running the second? No, I think any time you, know, you have an opportunity to, try to break the double play, you should do your best to, to do that. Um, again, it was, it was one of those awkward, awkward plays. Um, you know. like Chase, the, that, that, that was a turning point in the game, the way the team rallied off of that play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had some big hits after that. You know, scored some runs. I thought our guys battled pretty good. Their, their starter the last two days has been extraordinary. So um, we had some good at-bats tonight and ended up with a good win. Okay, what was going through your head on that play? 2-2. Two, two. Uh, how he hit it. Um, I was, saw Daniel Murphy catch it, flip to, flip to shortstop. Um, and I was trying to put, put a body on him to try to break up the double play. How did the umpires uh, explain it to you when you returned to the dugout and came back out? I, have, I didn't talk to the umpires. Is that an instinctual play? It's probably not something you can practice. No, I mean, I think you're taught from a young age to try to break up double plays. I think that's winning baseball. Chase, one of the things that the Mets are talking about is that, well, he had a, the, his back turned, so the chances of getting a double play were minimal to none at all. Well, anybody that's in, in that situation, uh, again, my focus is seeing the ball. Um, I didn't realize that his back was turned. Uh, everything obviously happens fast, um, and I, I tried to try to break it up. Chase, have you seen a replay of it? I have. What did you think on the replay? Because uh, you know, I mean, you got the job done. It looks late, gray area. Well, I mean, I guess it really depends uh, who, you're, who you're talking to. But um, again, there was no intent to. To injure, injure Ruben whatsoever. Chase, how do you define a dirty slide? I think cleats high, um, hitting the guy before you hit the ground. Those are things that um, are, are tough. Do you look at the replay? Did it seem late to you? I mean, obviously, real time is very different than when you look at the replay. No, I thought again the whole the whole play again happened happened fast. Mm -hmm. um, is that the well, adrenaline of the playoffs in the regular season? Do you think you make that same slide? I played. I played this game for a few years now. Um, I feel like I've played it hard every day. Chase, what was your approach on your bat to Syndergaard? He was throwing, you know, 100 plus throughout the night, and you're the one who got him out of the game. Yeah, like you said, he, he's got a great arm. Um, just trying to get a ball to hit. I think I hit a good change up, flipped it over, barely got over uh, Murphy's head. Um, and we were able to score some runs after that. How did that uh, change the momentum of things now? The, two, the series is tied 1-1 instead of obviously going down 2 to nothing and having to go to New York. Well, obviously it's better being 1-1 and down 0-2. Oh, um, so we still have our work cut out for us. We've got to continue to battle and, and get prepared for these guys because we have a good team. Do you anticipate Chase, retaliation the, from the them? Do you anticipate retaliation from them? I, I don't know. You guys had one hit last night with runners in scoring position tonight. You had four. Is that something that you wanted to clean up coming in? Well, I think I've said this a lot over, over the years. Uh, you're not going to score every guy when they're in scoring position. But the more guys you do have in scoring position, the better opportunity you're going to have. So, um, one more question. Big, big, big hits tonight. Chase, you've had to adapt to a new role, especially in the postseason. Uh, how have you tried to mentally approach it and to have an impact like this tonight, not even starting? Your feelings. Just trying to be ready when, whenever your name's called. Uh, that's the bottom line. Obviously, like you said, it's a little bit different um, from what I've been accustomed to over the years, but uh, I'm glad to be on a, a playoff team that uh, has a good chance to continue to win. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.